Moni Keala Akaka traced the beginning of what she called the Hawaiian Movement for Justice back to the Kalama Valley struggle in 1970. She became activated, organizing against the eviction of Hawaiians and other local folks in Kalama. Auntie Moani was involved from the earliest days of the contemporary Hawaiian movement as a founding member of Kokua Hawaii, the Protect Kaho'olawe Ohana, and Kalahui Hawaii. In the name of peace for all of humanity, we must stop not only the RIMPAC maneuvers, but we must stop the desecration of our aina completely. How can the people of Hawaii sit back and watch the destruction continue year after year after year? Enough is enough. It is up to us. It is for our children. It is for the future generations. Once she moved to Hawaii Island in the mid-1970s, she became central to several land struggles, including the Hilo Airport blockade and efforts to protect Waokeleo Puna. For many years, she and her husband, Tomas Belski, published a newspaper titled Aloha Aina, which aimed to educate islanders and visitors. Auntie Moani served 12 years as an Office of Hawaiian Affairs trustee. I never wanted to sit on my ass in an office and do nothing, she said of that time, and she didn't. Fiery and fearless, Auntie Moani was always ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone in political and intellectual battle. Of the contributions and contentions she made at OHA, she looked most proudly upon the years she spent negotiating with the state on the back rents due to OHA for the so-called ceded lands, also known as the seized lands of the Hawaiian Kingdom. She was instrumental in securing over $100 million in trust land revenues to be paid toward the betterment of Native Hawaiians. Her work protecting lands continued well after her years at OHA were done in 1996. She was a fierce advocate of peace, demilitarization, and anti-nuclearization in Hawaii and throughout the Pacific. In April 2015, Auntie Moani was among those arrested on Mauna Wakea for resisting the construction of the 30-meter telescope. I'm proud of all of you! Jeez, we're here in the spirit of peace and aloha and you handcuff us? What? You don't have to. Nobody's going to attack you. You're the ones that are attacking us. Shameful. Shameful. I'm 70 years old. And you're handcuffing me like I'm a criminal. And all these others. The organizers of La Hoi Hoi e a Honolulu honor her, a true warrior of the Lahui and our movement. E mau ke e o ka aina i ka pono. Aloha aina. Come up here and help support. Help us save the aina for the present and future generations. 